pounds to my sister. What did you like? But the natural order of a woman is to be led by a righteous black man. A righteous like man. That's what my brother, you gotta become. You gotta follow God. And she will follow you wholeheartedly. Lord's willing, right? Give me first, give me, uh, what you got? Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5. I'm gonna show you a scripture real quick, all right? Ephesians 5, 22. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 22. Bring it out! Submit yourselves unto your own husband. My sister, you heard that? You heard that, sis? It says, submit yourself unto who? Your own husband. Unto your husband. Because in that house, guess who your husband represents? Christ. You got to look at your husband as Christ. You understand? We're going to keep reading. Watch what the Bible says. As unto the Lord. Wait, uh, see that? He said, submit yourself unto your husband as unto the Lord. So I ain't making this up. We're not making none of this up. That's right. Right. Watch this. Watch this. For the husband is the head of the wife. The husband is what? The head of the wife. My brother, you heard that? You heard that, my brother? I, I, heard I, everything I know it's. I know it's. I know it's. Shaky for a black man to be in a leadership position. But guess what, black man? You are the leader in your house. You are the leader in your house. And you gotta conduct yourself as such. You understand? Read. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Christ is the head of the church. Same way you are the head of your house. When I asked you, hey, my brother, who wear the pants in your house? Me? You know what I'm saying? I'm now you got to think, wait a minute. My wife got the pants on. I know what these pants represent. They represent power. Right. They represent her not submitting to me as I submit to Christ. Right. There you, you know. understand, brother? Read. For Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Read. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ. Now, my sister, what's your name? And, and Ruben. Ruben? Ruben, that's a biblical, that's a powerful biblical name. Of yes, Your name is Ruben? Wow. So wait a minute. So now you got a, you got a name you got to live up to. You heard me, brother? You got a name you got to live up to. But guess what? Go on that way. Reuben is one of the, the sons of the 12 tribes of Israel. You are an Israelite, just like your wife is an Israelite. You understand? But guess what you got to do now? You got to conduct yourself as such and run your house as such. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so as the church, as the church, as Israel is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husband in everything. Woo! Hey, look at brother. He put a warm fuzzy inside now. Look at him. Look. We're going to laugh. Yeah. She's subject to me in everything. Yeah. But guess what, brother? Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. But guess what, brother? That's in righteousness. Right. You can't tell your wife, hey, baby, I want you to go to the Greyhound, take this pack, this pack of uh, adult, and bring it to Maryland. You can't do it. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But it's in righteousness. You understand? Righteousness is keeping God's word. That's what we said to him. Watch the scripture right here. Let, let me ask you something real quick. What are you doing out here today? Why did you come out here today? No, I'm going to wear these pants because it's cold outside. I see the bees, bro. Our wife don't wear What you came out here for? That's fine. That's you came to the store? My wife don't wear yeah. yeah. You just chilling? Yeah. Can't enjoy the parade? Yeah, yeah come, come over here, bro. All right. like the fat lady All right, but now you know what's your nationality. <laughs> you don't know yet? Hey, wait a minute. Did you see uh, what happened in New York last week in Brooklyn? With that big march of brothers in purple, a thousand black men, righteous black men in Brooklyn, New York, walking for Kyrie Irving. 
That was us, brother. You're looking at them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Did Jesus himself keep God's commands? What do y'all think? Did Jesus do what the Bible said to do? He did? Are you sure? He may not have done all of them. Really? So Jesus sent a little bit. Come over here, sis. What we're bringing, what we're bringing out is we're God's chosen people. And guess what we can do? We can put it all day in the fire. We are God's chosen people. We are royalty. Now, go back to Deuteronomy 10. Go back. You got to go? All right. Now listen. You got a flyer? Read the flyer. Don't lose it. Don't lose the flyer. Now, read what you got. So, so what's, your, what's your name? We are here to and you can What's your name, brother? Come over here, man. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come on, brother. You got questions? Ask your question. What's your name? What's your question? What's your question? What else you going to do on it? The brother asked a great question, right? No, but guess what? We're gonna laugh. Because guess what? All of us had questions at one time. There's no, there's no stupid question, right? You know what I'm saying? The brother asked, "Is God a woman or a man?" What do you think, sis? Black woman, God. Yeah, what do you think? She laughed. She wanna say it too. Yes, I'm a God. Worship me. That what you wanna say? What about you, brother? Is the, is, the, is, is the God a man or a woman? It's a man. It's a man. It's a man. Ah! <laughs> now we're going to read it. It's all right, sis. It's all right. It's all right. No, no. We're going to get to the Read that. Chapter 15 and verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. Woo! I like that thing right there. Guess what God loves? Warfare. Warfare. Guess what? You, as a man of God, is supposed to be a warrior, a soldier for Christ. You understand? Not, not a choir. That's church. That's where's where the devil is? Right here. This is what this is, this white man right here got black men real sore. You understand? Bring it up! Huh? He was a pedophile. Right! And he's a, he, and he was a thief, a pedophile, and he had sex with his own sister. Bring it up! Y'all remember uh, in the early 2010s, the, the, the show The Bourgeois on Showtime? That was about this man's family. They were the first crime family. This is Caesar Bourgeois, the son of Pope Alexander the VI of Rome. Right. You understand? And this picture was painted all over the world as the Renaissance image of Jesus the Christ. So what we are, guess what we are? We are freaking historians out here. Right. We know this Bible and we know world history. That's right. Our people don't know that we're trying to give to you, but nobody want to listen, my brother. Right. Everybody loves being ignorant, my brother. Right. You understand? Now, read it again. Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. Yeah. I want you to hear this too. The Lord is a man of war. Go to Judges chapter 3, verse 4. I'm going to show you something. Do black men know war? Black men. Us. Do we know war? What do you think, sis? You think? She, she like this. The hell no, y'all niggas don't know war. We only know how to war against each other. What? Right in my room, bro. Right. We, we bust guns at each other all day in the hood. Bring it out. But when a white cop was, huh? Take it out, sir. Who, who wants it? Say it. Why are you saying so, T? You ain't ready for war, my brother. Bring it out. Don't do that, brother. Bring it out, brother. Don't do that. The white man. That's right. Say, 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 say it with me, brother. Say it with me. The white man. Say it with me. Say it with me, brother. Say it with me, brother. Bring it out! 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 But it was still by race. You understand? Because guess what all nations did? Guess what all nations did, my brother? They put us in slavery. They put only certain tribes of Africa in slavery. So the Africans, the real Africans knew that we are the children of Israel and we are Shemitic and not them. Right. They put us in, in chains. Right. 
know he 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 the one that the fight. He wants it. You know. Say it again. He the one that the fight. Who's up? You know. Ooh. Come over here, sis. Don't don't get missing. Come on, sis. I want you to hear this. So, because this is for you too. Now, watch this, my brother. Your nationality. Who are you? What's your nationality in this world? No. Who are you in this world? Bring it out. African American? Are you black? Are you Israelite? Are you an Edomite? Who are you? So, who are you? Judah. You're Judah. You know you're Judah. Sis, what are you, sis? You know? You know you true though? Alright. You know you're 10, 12 again. What about you, my brother? You know who you are? Who are you? Who are you? Huh? You're a black man? So wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Well, wait a minute, brother. Say it again? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna prove, right? Deuteronomy uh 10 to 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Yeah. And now, Israel. So, all three of y'all know y'all in Israel, right? Watch what the Bible says. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? So, the Bible says, what is the, what's your name, my brother? Malik? Blair? Huh? Todd. Malik Blair Todd. God is asking y'all a question. What's required of y'all? To keep his commandments. So, numbers 15. What about my sister? What's, 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 what's required of you, my sister? Lynn, what's required of you? To keep his Okay, what about you, my girl? To keep his commandments, right? Now, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Come on. Why do black people go into slave on slave ships and lose our identity? Why? What does that mean? We did not keep God's commands. Right, 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 right. So, should we today be keeping God's commands, my sister? What, what do you say, brother? What do you say? We should, right? Now, let's see what the Bible says. How y'all sisters doing? Come on, sis. We, what we bring it out is we're God's chosen people. If we're on royalty on this planet Earth. Hey, 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 hey. That's what we can do. That's what we can do, y'all. We gonna prove it. That's right. Yeah. In the rain. Now, That's right. Read what you got. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Yeah. Speak unto the children of Israel. Wait, wait, brother. I want you to hear. I want you to hear what the Bible says. Um, Malik, Malik, hear what the Bible says. And then we're going to talk to um, what's your name, sis? Sis, sis. Chante, Chantel, and okay, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Where your, where your brother? What's your name, baby? What's your name? I'm not gonna bite you. It's okay. I'm your brother. Shy. Alright, alright, just watch what the Bible says. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Yeah. Speak them to the children of Israel and bid them that they make them friends in the borders of their garments. So, you know that's a war right there, right? So, friendships, where's yours at? You don't got that yet? Okay, so what are you doing about getting. Okay, so that, that's the problem. That's the problem. If we know better, we have to do better. Right, right, right. If we can't know the information and know how to correct ourselves and then say, I'm not going to do it. Right. That doesn't make right. sense. Right. We have to do what right. God says. Right. 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 Say it again. Uh, now, if I was walking down the street, right, would you recognize me as an Israelite? Why? What about you? How can I recognize you or my sister Blair as an Israel? I can't, even, I can't even salute my sister right now because she's looking like the rest of the world. Right. You understand my sister? So y'all gotta do what the Bible says. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be
be strong in the Lord.